Coca-Cola in here. You know, we live in a mega-connected world, don't we? We got Blackberries and iPhones going off and instant messaging and text messages and downloading photos from out of space and getting real-time stock quotes and Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and all that stuff going on. Man, are we connected. But I'm not talking about being connected today. I'm talking about connecting with your team. The fact is that we live in this high-tech world, but leadership is still a high-touch job. So at the risk of sounding a little bit old school, I want to share with you a very simple way to connect with your team. And I call it QC squared. Let's touch on those real quickly. The Q is for questions. Questioning is one of the most powerful leadership tools. However, it's one of the most least utilized tools. All we have to do is ask questions of our team. We gain insights into their motivations, their challenges, their desires, all of that. It looks like we're being selfless, but it's actually self selfish. We're getting insights into better ways to motivate them. We find the most effective leaders are listening at least 50% of the time. So they're asking questions and then they're listening. So make sure when you ask questions, you're willing to listen or else you just build cynicism with our team. So that's our question. Let's go on to the, the, C, the, C, the C squared. The first C is to comp, find common ground. We spend 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day with our teams, don't we? There's clearly common ground that we have, but we have to use those questions we just talked about to find that common ground. And a lot of times it's just a matter of perspective. It's not a matter of time. Consider two parties that are at odds. They come into a room, they can't find any common ground, they leave and they're done. They're done with each other. Yet a mediator could walk in in a pretty short order, find some common ground and resolve the issue. It was really just a matter of perspective. The two parties at odds were looking for differences where the mediator was looking for common ground. We have to find common ground on our team so we can be connected with them and connect them with each other. And the last C is to compliment. Man, if you could do any one thing, we all do more for those who appreciate us, right? Compliment your team. It needs to be sincere and meaningful, nothing frivolous, but there are plenty of opportunities for us to compliment our team. In fact, a Gallup poll found that the most effective work groups have at least a three to one ratio. That's it, three to one of positive interactions to negative interactions. So think about what your ratio is on your team. By the way, the same study found that in marriages, we upped the ante a little bit, the most effective marriages were at least a five to one ratio of positive to negative interactions. So don't worry about going overboard. The good news is there's never been any research that has ever shown that any employee has ever felt overappreciated. Isn't that great news? So the sky's the limit. As long as it's sincere and meaningful, find a way to compliment your team. Listen, forget about Wi-Fi networks and all that good stuff and T1 lines and, and 3G and all that. Just stick with QC squared to connect with your team.